We're all attracted to people all the time. What is it that attracts us to others? And what do others find attractive about you? These are some of the questions our team is going to try and answer in this series of videos. With millions of people to choose from, finding that perfect someone shouldn't be that difficult. But the media, social pressures and human nature itself have turned it into a mystery. We're surrounded by manipulated images, celebrity and glossy perfection. We're given rules about dating through books, websites and the press. They all pressure us to conform to an ideal of what is attractive. But what's the truth? It's time for science to tackle the subject. Through a series of experiments, our team are going to piece together some of the clues to this enormously complex phenomenon. And in these videos, they will explore the science of attraction. Characteristics such as sincerity or intellect and dependability are key attributes that we all seek in friendships or romantic partners. We tend to base many assumptions on appearances, but how reliable is our judgment? A person who we may see initially as friendly or honest could turn out to be completely the opposite. Are we bad judges of character or do people try and mislead others? Maybe the truth is somewhere in between. Today, 700 million people are using social networking websites, some specifically for dating and matchmaking. And on these sites, we are presented in a very brief format, and in many cases, we're initially judged just by a photograph. This way of presenting ourselves is becoming more and more prevalent, so how important is the picture we choose to represent ourselves online? In this video, the team takes science of attraction to the great British public to find out what your profile picture says about you and what type of photos are best at attracting attention. It may not be the ones you expect. It's a cat and an afro. Who doesn't like a cat and an afro? People are naturally keen to show off their most attractive qualities, particularly in their profile photo on social networking and dating sites. Do flirtatious photos get the best response? Does the quality and context of the photo matter? And is flashing flesh the way to go? We decided to find out. Profile pictures seem to fall into one of a number of different categories. That self-taken camera phone or webcam shot, outdoors or on holiday, in your own personal space, doing something interesting, or an abstract photo to represent yourself. In order to test out some of the myths and science about profile pictures, we've set up a profile picture experiment at this shopping centre. On our stand, we have 10 sets of photos, five of guys and five of girls. Each set has five photos in it, one for each of the most common profile picture types, which, just to remind you, are as follows. Number one, outside or on holiday. Number two, in your own personal space. Number three, an abstract photo which represents you. Number four, a self-taken camera phone shot. And finally, number five, doing something interesting. We asked members of the public to choose their favorite profile picture for each of the 10 people displayed, and then to pick an overall favorite. According to the scientific research, men in general are much more interested in the physical attractiveness of their potential partners than women are. Women tend to put more of an emphasis on personality traits and career prospects. Research also suggests that men agree a lot more about who they find attractive and unattractive, while women have a much broader opinion. Over 170 people later, and it was time to check out the votes and find out what people thought about the photos. I chose Mr. C and Photo 5. He just looked playful and more outgoing than the rest. I liked C and I liked Photo 1. I liked the fact that it was a scenery. It was nice rather than drunk and <laughs> at a party like most profile pictures seem to be nowadays. I chose Miss C, number 5. It showed her as an interesting character. I chose Mr. A, the number 3 one. 
where he's got like there's the I think it's the Eiffel Tower that's behind him. Uh, the photo I like the best was letter D number two, I think, because I'm a fan of short hair and she had short hair and great body as well. I like Mr. A2 because you could see his entire face, um, but he also looked like he was having a good time. So it's Miss C and photo number three. I like that photo because, well, it's, it's a cat and an afro. Who doesn't like a cat and an afro? Our results match the science, with Miss C being most popular, getting almost 50% of the guys' votes. The women voted Mr. A, C and E most frequently, each of them getting on average 25% of the votes. This shows that women's choices vary more than men's when it comes to what they find attractive. What was clear in this experiment was that people were drawn to photos that were representative of personality and showed that the subject had the potential to be an interesting person to talk to. It just sort of drew me because he looked quite active and it was in quite a natural surrounding environment. She looked like cheery and happy. Basically. I like that photo the most because um, he looks like he's into water sports and. Um, I quite like water sports, I've been scuba diving and I really enjoyed it. I like that photo because um, she's just chilling out, um, pretty much what I do at home. I just thought it was a really arty photo. It's nice, very nice picture. Looking at the results from every angle, it's clear that the most popular type of photo was the one which showed our subjects doing something interesting, a reflection of who they are and what they like. Overall, this type of photo got a third of all votes as favourite. The self-shot koi photo and the flashing flesh pictures are the ones which get the most messages and attention according to research. But are those the messages you want? Photos of people doing something interesting generate much more meaningful messages. Based on that photograph would probably be something like, oh, so you've been travelling and, like, how was France? Possibly talking about photography skills and stuff like that, because I'm really into that kind of thing. If I was to send him a message, um, I'd have to ask him where he was, because it looks really nice there. If I was single, I'd probably say something like, awesome afro, and then just see where it goes from there. Something simple. Hi, you like a nice guy? Want to meet up sometime? Winky face? Tongue? <laughs> When it comes to relationships and representation online, your ability to show your best qualities can be a crucial factor. According to research, if you initially show your personality and interests, then you'll find more people drawn to you. In our experiment, people were genuinely looking for what interested them about the people in the photographs, rather than just sex appeal. This goes along with much of the previous research out there, that while you may be able to get a lot of attention by flashing flesh, Ultimately, people perceive you as more interesting and worth engaging if you show you have a diverse and interesting personality. So there you have it. There are no tricks, no magic methods for fooling people into liking you. It truly is as simple as being yourself and representing that with your picture profile. To find out more and test out our chat-up line generator, go to scienceofattraction.co.uk.